Greetings YouTube, happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel. It is new content week. It is also say goodbye to old content week, especially the Danger Room Incursion store. And what do you know? Right on time, we have an update, which is a Summoner Engagement Alliance event. Starting April 3rd, we're making major changes to make Alliance events simpler and more warning. So we're going to do something. I will miss one to three day Alliance events, especially the peak milestones for energy refills. But we'll see how this goes. That's its own entire video that I'll probably try to make a video on at some point. You can also see that we have another double track event, which looks incredibly similar to what we've seen this year that includes cav nexus crystals super fabulous ones and the deadpool bobble bobble which may or may not be part of the spring cleaning event deadpool bobble bobble that's probably gonna be a store that comes but yeah for 10 bucks Eventually, you'll be getting probably plenty of that Deadpool currency. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the side quest currency. The doubloons were last year, but maybe this will be this year. And eventually, you get, uh, let's see. Oh. A six-star class-based non-Nexus crystal. And then you get a basic six star mythic crystal for it. I mean, that's definitely worth 10 bucks, especially depending on what the store is involved. So we'll have to break that down more. But let's start with this. Okay, so a Paragon Daily card gets you a fully formed tier six basic and a fully formed tier three alpha. And 15,000 six star shards for 30 bucks. That is the most <laughs> basic stripped down login calendar you can see. Now, the question is I mean, for six star shards, it's definitely way better of a deal to spend $10 versus the daily card. But in terms of rank four materials, it is worth noting that. You get one of these, which would put the value of a rank for, in terms of those on average for Paragon players, to less than $100 for that specific item. Now, obviously, there's a lot more that goes into rank four uh, six-star decisions than just the tier three alpha and tier six basic. But it's normally what's holding summoners back from taking a six-star from rank three to rank four. No gold, no six stones. The 15,000 six-star shards right now, quite tempting for a lot of people. I think... It's worth it. I'd probably give it about a B minus grade, but I still think this is an A plus. You get units, you get multiple, let's see what day 21 is again. Multiple Cav Nexus crystals, and you're gonna get additional units from the Super Fabulous crystal. But this Deadpool Bobble Bobble is Really, I think the most important part of this, assuming that we have the spring cleaning event in April, which we always have in the last couple of years, with that special Deadpool currency, maybe it'll be the balloons again, or maybe it will be this new thing. What's interesting is I don't see that message in in the in-game inbox. Wow. Well... Best 10 bucks you can spend of the month easily is the Platinum Track, particularly for those of you Throne Breaker and Paragon, given you'll get a six-star basic or a six-star class selector in the end. It's also worth noting that if you spend X amount of money and move past it, you'll not only get some unknown, I guess it's a profile pick, maybe? Looks like a doesn't it look like a legend title? It looks like a legend title to me. But 
But then in addition to that, you're getting the usual amount of six-star shards, which are 300 per day. I still think they should be at least 500, but not really fair to expect that, I guess, for two bucks. But um, I don't know, maybe so. And then you can actually see now that you can increase the days. And that's how you purchase this directly, seven days for five bucks. Which seven days for five dollars is still, for compared to the daily Paragon special, definitely not worth it for those extra days. Not at all. But the $10 Platinum Pass, definitely a better value than the $30 daily card if you can only afford it. But at the same time, not bad. Just a very stripped down, simple version of a Paragon daily card. Very fascinating. Still wish it had a few more rank up resources attached to it, but Kabam has kind of made this the uh, gold standard now for basic $30 offers. Feels like that's where the price point is. I give the Platinum Pass an A to A plus and the Paragon Daily Card a B minus. Those are the grades. Have a great rest of your day.